this guy who's fought for the least powerful among us, those with disabilities, those who were not in the middle class, like me when I was growing up with my single parent mom. We were not in the middle class, but you know, I got there because a lot of my own hard work, but because a lot of the things that Tom Harkin really did for folks, like me, since I was at that age, you know, the first thing that I remember, one of the first things I remember about politics is working for Tom Harkin at Iowa State University when I was there. It's been a while. But, uh, and Tom Harkin has been my political hero all along because of the things that he fights for, because of the people he fights for. And we're going to miss him, there's no doubt. But I also have every confidence that my friend Bruce Braley is going to take his place and we're going to keep up with the tradition. If it isn't a state fight, it's going to be something. And Bruce is going to be our next senator from Iowa, folks. It's going to happen. And I, I was listening to the other folks running in the other three districts and I, I heard a lot of ifs. And I heard someone say, I'm trying to do this or that. I don't want to hear ifs. I don't want to hear trying. I want you to know that I'm going to get three more Democrats who are going to come with me to the U.S. House of Representatives this year, folks. I need them. Now, we all know what we're fighting for. Democrats up and down the ticket are fighting for one thing, and that's the middle class. That's what we stand for, folks. That's why this country is as great as it is, because the middle class is so great. And that's what Democrats fight for. And it's not just those who are in the middle class, it's those who've fallen out of it for all these reasons that we've seen over the years. And it's about folks like me, as I just said, who didn't grow up in the middle class. But we need to make sure that those folks who are not in the middle class have the opportunities if they're willing to take that responsibility to pull themselves up we've got to make sure that they have the opportunity to get in the middle class that's what this is about as well folks that's what this is about and when we talk about the middle class you know jim maurer kind of gave my speech i didn't tell him to say what he said but he kind of gave my speech when we talk about the middle class we've got to talk about our seniors because the two greatest anti-poverty programs in American history are Social Security and Medicare. We know that. And here's what I have to say. I'm not going to let my opponent privatize Social Security. I'm not going to let my opponent raise the retirement age for Social Security. I'm not going to let my opponent vulgarize Medicare somehow believing that someone can get as much from a private insurance company as they can from Medicare because we know that's not true, folks. We need those programs to keep those seniors in the middle class. And I'm going to fight like hell to make sure that we keep those programs the way they are. That's what I'm going to do. And one last point. We hear a lot about the Koch brothers and about Carl Rove and American Crossroads. That's right. They're here and they're working against us. But you know, last year in Coralville, Iowa, the Koch brothers tried to come into that race. Do you remember that? That was on John Stewart and all these shows. But guess what? The people of Coralville, Iowa stood up to the Koch brothers. They beat them, folks. And when you get tired, and when you think that that five bucks that you send to me or one of these folks doesn't make a difference, or that you don't want to go in and make those calls because it's hard. And I can tell you, even congressmen get hung up on sometimes, okay? But when you don't want to do that, then the Koch brothers have won. We didn't let the Koch brothers win in Coralville, Iowa. We're not going to let them win in the second district of Iowa. We're not going to let them win in Iowa. And we're not going to let them win in America because you're going to get out and you're going to do the things that we have to do to make sure the Democrats win up and down the ticket this fall. Thanks, everybody. Congressman Bruce Rayleigh.